Content.js GraphQL is a set of helpers that will ease the process of connecting to your Content CMS instance using a GraphQL interface. So what we're going to do is using the Content.js proxy, we're going to slap on top of it a GraphQL, a GraphQL interface that will introduce a way to call our Content CMS uh, JSON API. So why are we doing that? So the idea is that by adding this extra level of indirection, we can use Content CMS just as a content microservice. So the idea is that all our editorial content can live inside of Content CMS. Drupal is very good at modeling content. Uh, there is a fantastic way to expose that content and uh, that is through JSON API. But our modern applications are likely to have external dependencies, other APIs, other services, etc. So if you want to model uh, your, your application using this kind of microservices architecture, using a using a Node.js proxy like Content.js is a very good alternative. And if you do that, you may want to use GraphQL. So in this repo, Content.cms slash Content.js GraphQL, uh, you can see uh, what are the benefits of using GraphQL in Node.js, because you could be tempted to ask yourself, well, if I'm going to use GraphQL in, in my application, why not use the GraphQL uh, module? So uh, this, these are the benefits of using the GraphQL inside of uh, Node.js. Uh, the benefits of using the JSON API module in Drupal over GraphQL uh, are not here and they are posted elsewhere. Uh, so I'm going to add a link to that. So the, the idea is that we want to model our content inside of GraphQL. So the first thing that we need to do is to add some types uh, and we're going to add type definitions uh, for our, in this case, I have my local install here. I'm going to go to uh, API, to the documentation here, and I'm going to add types for uh, a bunch of, of these. In particular, I'm going to add types to the, um, to the recipe. So I'm going to model this as a GraphQL type and uh, also a little bit of relationship to the author, etc. So that next in another video.